Would flying cars be a step towards smart mobility? You're trying to provoke me, but you know, last year I was in the Geneva International Car Expo and I saw a car which transforms into a helicopter if the traffic gets too congested. It comes with a free parking spot in Geneva Airport, you know. We've yet to add uh, skies as the third dimension for everyday traffic, but I believe it'll happen before too soon. In the meanwhile, we should make the streets and roads more people and bike friendly and make less car oriented. Is water transportation underrated? Definitely. Ships and boats account for only 13% of Europe's transport emissions, while cars account for 71%. Haven't you ever wandered sitting in a bad traffic? You know, that you could cross the river in a, in a boat, sitting and see how that clock ticks away and, you know, your job interview starts without you. Also, the gondolas and vaporettos of Venice should give you some inspiration how water traffic and water transport can be used efficiently in a city environment. Is there a plan of making a Europe's international bike highway? Well, in fact, there is already a bike highway of some sorts, you know, which spans the European continent. Of course, these are for now relatively minor byways alongside real highways. But on a hot summer day, you can see a Spanish tourist or two on Estonian islands, you know, with a, with a flag. Of course, you know, if more people would switch from cars to bikes, you know, we would perhaps need more of these green corridors. You know, now, for now, these are old rail lines which are converted into bike paths. I was in fact on one of them this summer when I was biking from Riga to Ergli. Would it be better for everyone to use bicycles or for most people to study or work from home? Well, hitting a road with a bike is definitely preferable than sitting in front of a home screen. You know, it uh, pumps your muscles and makes your heart race a bit faster and helps to prevent uh, heart ailments down the line. Now with the coronavirus, a lot of employers are rethinking the working environments and letting people work from home. In fact, you know, I do that uh, almost every other week. But in the meanwhile, I hop on a bike and uh, once in office, I hop on an office bike, which the European Commission has provided us with most kindly. In what ways does the European Green Deal support bicycle infrastructure? Well, in the next seven years, 30% of the monies from Europe will be channeled towards green projects such as building safer, more interconnected and seamless bike infrastructure. Let me give you a small example, you know, my kids go to a school and before renovation the school had 50 bike spots. Guess what? 50 kids were biking to school. Now after renovation they have 200 bike spots and guess what? 200 kids cycle to school. I presume that if 1000 parking spots were built for kids, all 1000 would bike. A safe, convenient, uh, infrastructure is really conducive for biking and the European Green Deal is there to change our habits.